Hey shoppers, it's Beth with Max My Shopping. I'm really excited today to be able to show you how to use the grocery sale price tracker. This is what everybody's been waiting for. It's really easy to use. It's a set it and forget it tool that allows you to set up a profile of the products you always buy and then once a week we'll tell you where those things are on sale. So after you've signed up and logged in, this is what your screen looks like. And you get two buttons right here. One is My Grocery Profile and the other one is My Weekly Results. So first we're going to click on My Grocery Profile. And the first step is to select the stores where you regularly shop. Now we're going to go ahead and select all four because we will go to any of these stores if we find a good enough bargain. So the first thing we're going to put in our profile is Duke's Mayonnaise. That's something that we buy on a regular basis. It doesn't go on sale often, so I want to know when it does go on sale. And I never buy anything else but Duke's. So only one product came up in the search box at the bottom, so we click Save, and now that search term is saved. We also like Viva Paper Towels, so we typed in that brand name, we get a single product, and we click Save. But let's say that we also like yogurt. So we're just going to put in yogurt and that maybe we're not very brand um, loyal for that. We just like yogurt. Um, you can see that the list is really, really long. It includes all different kinds of yogurts. So let's say that what we were really looking for was Greek yogurt. So instead, we're going to add the word Greek to our search and it doesn't have to be in any particular order. When I press enter this time, now the list in the search box is much shorter. So that's what I was looking for, so now I'm going to click on Save. And let's say I also buy apples on a regular basis. So I'm going to type in apples and press Enter. And in this case, I get canned glazed apples and fried apples, and what I'm really just looking for are fresh apples in the produce department. So just like before, I can add the word produce to that list. Press enter, and now I'm only seeing those two. And so now I'm going to click on save. But let's say after we did that, we thought, you know, we really just want to know when organic apples are on sale. So we can click our previous search. It'll fill the box at the bottom again, and I can add the word organic. Press enter. Now we're only seeing the one product click Save, and now it's updated to include only organic apples. But let's say I think about that for a minute and think, no, you know, I really want to know when all apples are on sale. I can change it again. Just click on the previous search. I can take out the word organic, press Enter, click Save, and so now I'm going to see when either of those apples are on sale. Um, we also want to know we like ribeyes, so we're going to search for ribeyes. This is what we're looking for, so we're going to click Save. And let's say we also like sirloin steak. We want to know when that's on sale. It's a big long list, but we want to know when any kind of sirloin's on sale, so we're going to click Save. We could make it shorter, but we're just going to do that. Now we're going to go look at what shows up on our weekly results. If you're on this screen and you want to go to weekly results, you can click here. If you're on the home screen, and we'll go back there, you can click on my weekly results. Either click will get you there. And you can see that it shows us our products that are on sale at Aldi, Food Lion, Harris Teeter, and Lowe's Foods. We've got ribeyes and sirloins and yogurt that are common across stores. And Viva paper towels are on sale at Lowe's Foods. But it's a little hard to compare the products when they're separated by store this way. So we do have the ability to sort by products. And now I can see that the best price, easily see that the best price on sirloin is at Aldi. And that the price on yogurt is the same at all three stores. Anytime you want to print this list, you can sort it by store or product and then just click on the print icon here. And that's how to use the grocery sale price tracker. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you'll use the tool and please give us a comment and let us know what you think of it. Thanks for watching and happy shopping.